I mean, maybe there was something they saw we better take a look. But all I'm saying is he gets manhandled and he's, you know, if any of us got beat, punched, kicked, pushed, you know, you end up doing something to get somebody away from you. And, you know, I, again, I, you know, he's so big, it's, you almost have to do that to guard him. I'm going to be honest, you got to push him, shove him, follow him, grab him, try to get to get his goat. The issue becomes if you play that way, then you're counting on those being called. Just call them all. Call 50. Doc, how confident were you, you that your young team would look past 0 and 8 and just go take care of their game? Not real. And especially the last tape I saw Tasman get 41. I saw that 41 game and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, this kid could go for 41. And it's what happened to us at South Carolina. Uh, then we get an 8-0 start and I got to start subbing guys because I didn't like the energy level. And uh, how about Ramon Harris today? I thought he was terrific. In the first half, he's the one who helped us get that thing going, like to break the thing wide open. Um, but Was rebounding a big key, do you think, in getting it going yeah, and widening yeah, it out? Yeah, and we, we out-rebounded a pretty good. But you got to understand, we're like the number one rebounding team in the country right now. I mean, we, we start to not look at that, but that's what we are. And so we should do that. We've had one game we didn't, and that was South Carolina. South Carolina. They got 20 offensive rebounds and beat us to every ball. Um, again, you see Darnell Dotson. Now he gets open, no points. You know, if he defended and rebounded a little bit better, I'm fine with that. But you got, you can't, you can't count on just making shots because what happens is you're not going to do it every game. It just doesn't happen. Sometimes you're in and out. And, John, you said yesterday that with Tasman, he's a tough matchup because he uses a skill against a bigger guy or a size against a smaller guy. You went with the big on him. What was your Patrick, Patrick, what everybody is loving about Patrick right now is he's doing things they did not know he could do. Now, all of a sudden, he can guard a two, a three, a four, or a five. Do you know what the value is of a player like that? It's just and now he's making threes, he's making his free throws, we can throw it to him in the post, he's he's rebounding again with two hands. And I'm saying this to you, he's got about twenty more percent to go to be where I think he should be or is capable of being. What's gonna when he had jump shots he, he took open jumpers, was that is that part of the progression getting back the way you wanted him to be offensively? No, I wanted him to be rougher and tougher and demand the ball more. I wanted him to come up with two handed rebounds and be more aggressive around the goal. I knew, you know, open shots shoot them. But when you're, you're tipping balls and you're not being tough, you don't want to shoot it. Your mentality is more of a passive mentality. And so we've got to get him in that frame of mind. I thought John Wall did a great job of running our team again. You're seeing that we're getting that sequence now. Run it, try to post it, try to swing it and drive it. It's not there. What are we doing? We're getting better. Still about four or five plays that we tried to make the toughest play. And they all resulted in turnovers. And that's what we've got to eliminate before March. I've got another month to do this, and um, or get these guys to do it, I should say. Coach, uh, you talked about the post play.